right, in the past month, the country has come face to face with hatred and white nationalism, at times with deadly consequences. Two weeks ago in El Paso, Texas, a man killed 22 people at a Walmart, and police say he admitted to targeting immigrants. Just yesterday, far right and far left extremist groups faced off in Portland, Oregon. One of those groups, the Proud Boys, as they call themselves, has been designated a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. Fear of violence at that dueling uh, rally forced businesses to close and the mayor to urge residents to stay in their homes. And then earlier this month in New York, anti-Semitic graffiti was found sprawled across a park pavilion on Long Island. And now one Democratic state senator is taking action. Todd Kaminsky is introducing a bill that would require 6th through 12th graders to learn about the meaning of hate symbols. And he's joining me right now. Uh, good to see you. Thank so, you. Uh, talk to me about, you know, if this is an issue in your view of a teaching history differently in schools. Sure, you know, I think government has to have a lot of uh, weapons at its disposal to deal with this. And I think prevention has to be one of them. And education can be a huge part of that. Uh, when the district attorney in my area has um, arrested uh, people for hate graffiti, a lot of time it's youngsters, and a lot of time they're not even really uh, understanding of the gravity of their actions, or sometimes what the symbols even mean. So how so, do you know that? How do, how, why is it that you feel that some of these, you know, people are using this um, without knowing what it evokes? Sure, because, I mean, look, they certainly know they're doing something wrong, but when you talk to the actual prosecutors and law enforcement officers who debrief uh, some of the uh, people after they're arrested, uh, you know, they don't even really know what they're doing, and after they're sent to uh, this very uh, interesting diversion program that we have here in Long Island, uh, where kids have to go to the Holocaust Museum and learn, many of them are ashamed and astounded at, at their own actions. So what that means is we're graduating young people who do not know the history, do not know why a noose has, uh, you know, the dark history of the noose in our country and Jim Crow, or even the swastika in the Holocaust. So if we're able to incorporate teaching about those symbols mm -hmm. and hate speech generally, I think we'll have a much more educated mm -hmm. populace and a lot less of the extreme hate behavior mm -hmm. that we see going on in our country. So you're talking about legislating history being taught when there is a presumption that in schools, particularly public schools, history, American history is taught. And, and you're saying it's either not being done effectively and, and that is helping to um, promote people using symbols that they don't understand the meaning of. Yeah, I mean, the social studies teachers that I've talked to are really excited about this. Uh, you know, they, the Holocaust is something that they don't believe that they teach enough about. And obviously, uh, when we talk about Reconstruction or Jim Crow, there are many people who don't understand the significance of the noose. So spending just a little bit of time, I mean, this isn't rocket science, this is basics, mm. but spending some time learning about these symbols I think is very, very important. Mm. And, you know, good government means putting the traffic light on the corner mm. before the accident, not after. And I think we're doing uh, everything we can, we should be, uh, trying to get at white supremacists and other uh, people who are uh, trying to use hate to motivate their actions. You just announced a number of arrests over the weekend, but obviously we want to have young people that don't ever go there, and education has to be part of that. Can it be legislated how young people are going to be taught these things responsibly? Sure, we, we have all types of requirements, even uh, that the Holocaust uh, should be taught in schools, which is obviously appropriate and necessary. There are all types of, of things that we make uh, young people learn about, adding the word uh, certain symbols to that requirement is not onerous. It's definitely something that should be done. And, you know, to know that in this day and age, uh, because we have uh, young people not understanding this history is extremely troubling. And uh, it's something we can't forget. You know, if we're not learning from history, we're, we're certainly going to repeat it. Mm. And to have young people not even know what a swastika means or where it comes from is obviously very troubling and something we can do something about. All right. New York State Senator Todd Kaminsky, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me on.